Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom in Washington State where a softard is in the middle of a hearing to uh, schedule a competency evaluation for him to determine whether or not he is uh, competent enough to uh, be able to defend himself in a court of law. But of course, uh, you know, but of course, like a lot of other softards, this guy doesn't really have a legal leg to stand on, and uh, he has mush for brains. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Mr. Richard, are you able to activate your camera? I, I can, but I'm, I'm moving stuff around at the same time. Okay, well, well, we can have, well, let's just go ahead. I don't know if you were listening in when we were talking about your case. As you know, we've been waiting for um, the doctors to talk with you to see whether or not you're able to go forward on this matter. And there is now a date set for your interview. I don't understand. What is what is what am I meeting with a doctor for? Wait, uh, I forgot. You're soft heart, aren't you? You're not supposed to say I understand. You're supposed to say I comprehend because understanding means you stand under something. Uh, that's what you soft hearts think anyway, isn't it? They need to uh, ascertain whether you can understand the nature of the charges and whether you're able to assist your attorneys. It's a two prong uh well, test so that's I, what we've I, been I, waiting I, for i understand the nature i'm trying to figure out the cause you guys never told tell me figure out what i understand the nature of the of this case i'm trying to figure out the cause of this case like what is what are, what are we here for well you've been charged with the criminal offense of driving while your license is suspended in the third degree and operating a vehicle without the required ignition interlock device those are the I've, charges. I've, I've never, I've never had a license for you to. So, sir, it, please stop talking about the facts of the case. Yeah, doofus, uh, you need to stop yourself from talking about the case because you just pretty much made uh, the prosecution's case for them right there. So, if you try that in try uh, the trial, you're screwed, dude, because Washington state law requires that you have a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle on the public roadways. So, dude, uh, you're not exactly the smartest one out there, are you? I mean, it's understandable that uh, you, you lack that kind of intelligence to understand that you're not supposed to say that thing because, that you know, that lead paint just really rots away your brain. I understand, but that was just pretty damn stupid right there. This is your attorney. Who? This is Sean Parent, one of your attorneys. So please don't talk about the facts of the case. Oh, well, I'm not. I'm not denying any of the facts. I'm just letting you know that that's. Well, that I, I'm letting you know what I understand is what I'm saying. She asked me if I understand, and I'm trying to answer the question. I'm letting her know what I understand, and I'm trying to figure out what's making me. What, what, what are you trying to call it? Incompetent? Is that what you're trying to say? I am. Yes, there's uh, legal competency, and there's it's two prongs, whether you can understand the nature of the charges and whether you're able to assist. So right now, there's a question about whether you are able to proceed, and that's why we're having the doctors talk to you. That's why can the I current just ask status. The, why can't I just ask the judge? Like, what, the well, judge I, am the judge the, I am the judge, and I need those doctors to give me their opinion. Yes, Avtard, because uh, the judge is uh, knowledgeable in the law. She's not knowledgeable in the workings of psychology and the brain and everything like that. You, for that, you need a different set of people to evaluate you. The judge can't do that because that's not her training. But then again, I suppose you think that that's part of her training because, well, you are a know-it-all softard, so you probably think that a judge is supposed to know everything. Well, that's not the case, dude. Nobody knows everything about everything. When they review your records and speak to you, and then we'll get well, a report back. So right well, now, you're my, finally being interviewed. That, so I'm trying to get I'm trying to get the answers from you. Like I'm I'm in here talking to you, 
And I'm telling you that you need to speak to these doctors on April 24th at 9 a.m. And why do I need to talk to a doctor? I'm still not understanding. Like, I'm trying to figure out what, are, what why are we really here? Because you're charged with the crime, and I need to make sure that you are legally competent to proceed in this matter. What is and what is the name of the crime? I told you it's driving while license suspended, third degree, and operating a vehicle without an ignition interlock device. Is there any injured parties? Why do you soft tarts continuously try to use that in a court? It may work between you soft tarts out in the middle of nowhere, but in reality, in a courtroom, it's a garbage argument. Is there some is there somebody willing to go on the stand and say that I actually committed a crime? Who well, who who has who has a claim against me? Like that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to settle the matter. I'm not arguing the facts. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to take care of this and you and we cannot proceed while your ability to understand the nature of the charges and to assist your uh, attorneys uh, at issue, we cannot proceed. We're, we're wasting, we're wasting so we are in this status. Just at you. That's what I'm and saying. I'm telling you right now. So the next hearing will be hopefully with a report in hand. You will have had your interview on April 24th at 9 a.m. Mr. Parent, do you know where he would be going for that? I'm not sure um, if it's going to be at the Shoreline Courthouse or down in, at our office in Kent or possibly at the courthouse in Kent. Um, kind of depends on where he lives. You have good contact with Mr. Richard? Yeah, we have a we have a good phone number for him. Okay. Um, we'll be, we'll, we will be able to keep in touch with him. Okay, so Mr. Richard, they're going to meet with you on the 24th. Yeah. Would it take about a week or two, Mr. Parent? Are they going to report gonna come back? Somewhere or something? Like, what are, what, are, what, are they, what are they about to do? Let's have him return on May uh, 6th. Well, like I said, you don't have my, my uh, consent. Actually, May 1. Let's do May 1. So. Dude, this is a criminal matter. I don't think your consent is required for this. I don't know why you think I, I have to go see a doctor when I could just ask you all the questions that were that's stopping us from going forward. I told you I'm trying to settle the matter. I don't know what's going on. Right. We keep trying to explain that to you, Mr. Richard. The reason is you're going to have to talk to these doctors and we'll get some additional information. All right. So cool. Your okay, next well, hearing there, will be on been, May 1st. Has there been a has there been a guilty plea that has been put into record? No, we can't do that because we have to determine whether or not you're able to proceed in this case. So there so there is no plea that's been put in filed. There's a plea of not guilty that's been entered. And who put that in? You had a first appearance and you are unable to plead guilty. So a not guilty plea has been entered on your behalf and we are waiting to have the doctors talk to you. And how this has been going somebody, on for quite some time, Mr. Richard. How, how can somebody put a plea in for me? That makes no sense. Doesn't the attorney have to do no. what I asked him to do or they're, or they're acting in dishonor? No, no. The attorneys are not there to be your personal servants and do uh, what you ask them to do. They're there to uh, help you win the case by arguing the facts of the case. That's their job. And they've had years and years of training to handle that job. Unlike you, who just seems to have, a, well, a rather diluted sense of how the law works and everything like that. I mean, you are just amazingly incompetent as far as I can see. And that's putting it mildly. I could use some stronger words, but I don't think uh, YouTube would allow it. If well, they don't do what I tell them to do? All of this confusion that's going on right now is many examples of why we need this evaluation to take place. So no, I need you. I, we're going to end your hearing, Mr. Judge? Mr. Richard. I have questions for the judge, and you're just saying that I'm incompetent. Like, I, why, why can't I get the answers from you? Do you not know your own laws? I cannot go forward until I get a report from the doctors. And why, why, why is there a doctor that needs to be involved in this? This is a, a what do you say, a driving, a traffic matter? 
Okay, I'm going to conclude this hearing. I believe that we need a report from the doctors based upon your answers, and this has been going on for. I just, I, quite I just some told time. you, like, I'm not, I'm not denying any of the facts. So, we're, we're, why do we need to see a doctor? Can I, I just pay I, for the? Can I, can I just settle the the fines that you have? It's there's in this case. Can I, can I just do that and get to jail. it? Huh? All right. So, <laughs> what'd you say? It's a criminal charge with jail. It's not just paying a fine, Mr. Richard. So we are going to set this over. May 1st will be the next date you come back to court. And I will well, ask that you follow through and attend that evaluation on April 24th. You just told me this Mr. Parent right? is going to make sure you know where you need to go. But you just told me this was criminal, right? So why can't I just settle the fines? Did you not hear what the judge just said that as a result of this being a criminal matter, there is jail time involved. It's not just fines that you got to deal with, dude. This is a trial kind of thing. You know, the kind of trial where a jury of your peers uh, sits in judgment of you? That kind of thing uh, is not, not sinking into your tiny little brain. I mean, no wonder they're having to... Uh, find people to see if you're completely competent to stand trial. You just don't seem to be playing with a full deck at this point. I mean, it's really quite sad how incompetent you are at this point. Because criminal is not about fines. It's about jail time as well. So and why, do, why does somebody have get jail time for something that they never had? I've never had a driver's license. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are done with your case today, Mr. Richard. Well, now, good luck, dude, uh, with your trial and your competency hearing. Because at this point, uh, with that last line, you kind of just destroyed your any hope of, well, winning the case at all. Because, well, you should have kept your damn mouth shut, you brainless buffoon. I mean, uh, that was just... Yeah, I don't think that this is an act. Yeah, I think this guy really is that freaking stupid. I mean, dude, you just destroyed yourself in that last line right there. You use that in trial, but yeah, you're not getting uh, out of uh, jail time right there. Good luck! So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?